In this video, I am going to explain the transport mechanisms across cell membrane. There are two major mechanisms through which molecules are transported across semi-permeable membrane. These two mechanisms are passive transport and active transport. Passive transport is a cellular process by which molecules move across the cell membrane from an area of higher concentration to an area of lower concentration. There are three types of passive transport, simple diffusion, facilitated diffusion, and osmosis. In simple diffusion, molecules move from an area of higher concentration to an area of lower concentration without the input of energy until equilibrium is reached. Small nonpolar molecules such as oxygen and carbon dioxide can diffuse directly through the lipid bilayer of the membrane. In facilitated diffusion, transport proteins move molecules from higher to lower concentration without the expenditure of energy. Transport proteins are important because some molecules cannot directly diffuse across membrane. The facilitated diffusion has a higher rate than the simple diffusion. Osmosis is the diffusion of water across a selectively permeable membrane from a solution of less solute concentration to a solution of higher solute concentration. Active transport is a process in which molecules move across a cell membrane from an area of lower concentration to an area of higher concentration. This process requires energy in the form of adenosine triphosphate ATP and is performed by specific carrier proteins embedded in the cell membrane. There are two types of active transport primary active transport and secondary active transport. In primary active transport, energy from ATP is directly used to transport molecules or ions across the membrane against their concentration gradient. For example, cell membrane has some carrier proteins known as sodium potassium pumps which actively transports sodium ions out of the cell and potassium ions into the cell. In secondary active transport, the energy stored in an electrochemical gradient established by primary active transport is used to drive the movement of other molecules or ions against their concentration gradient. For example, Cells use a protein called a symporter to bring in glucose. This protein grabs onto sodium ions outside the cell. As sodium ions move into the cell, they give energy to the symporter, allowing it to bring glucose inside against its concentration gradient. Here you can see both primary and secondary active transport processes. In primary active transport, ions are transported using ATP against their concentration gradient. And in secondary active transport, two types of molecules or ions are simultaneously transported using a co-transporter protein. If you like this video, do subscribe to my channel for more biology lectures. Thank you for watching.